Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn how we can make a custom section in Shopify Dawn theme where you can add different collections and you can manage them from the customizer. If if we go back to the customizer, as you can see, we have a show by set show by category section. From here, you can change the title like uh, this and uh, you can add as many collection as you needed. You can click on add and you can add the new collection here and that will be displayed in the slider. And uh, let's remove that. And you can you can change the image of the collection from here. Actually, you can override the collection image. If you don't put any image here, uh, the, the collection image will be shown. And if you upload the image here, that will override the collection image and display this image at the front end. Similarly, you can change the title and you can add the link as well. In the section folder, we are going to create a new file. Shop by Heta Varies Picard. You can you can name it anything, but I have given the name Shop by Categories. So let me copy and paste uh, the HTML for this section. We are not going to write the HTML. We are going to write on the liquid code. So this is the markup of HTML. Save that. And the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to write schema. Schema. And for the name of the section is stop by categories. And we need to add a preset. Preset so our section will be dynamic. Preset and name it shop by categories now we need to add uh, different blocks for uh, for uh, for each uh, collection so before adding the blocks we need to make the heading dynamic so I'll say type text and ID title and label would be title as well and default is shop wide categories. So now we need to get this field in our HTML. So this we are going to replace this hard coded with this uh, section dot settings dot type. Okay. So now we are going to add some. We are going to add a blocks schema. So can say blocks. Mini blocks are there. We are going to have category name category name category and type would be category as well and settings. In the settings we need some fields. The first one is a uh, type collection. And ID would be collection, collection as well, and label select collection. In this field, we are going to select the collection of the Shopify so we can look through that collection. So let's add the loop here. We need a we need to loop through this category item and let me get rid of the other items so I need to delete them now I need to loop through this one 
So I'll say here for for block in section locks section dot blocks and we need to end this block by the end of this table. So now we can fetch uh, this uh, collection. So we need to assign a variable. So I'll say assign collection. And we need to get that uh, category field. Block dot settings dot collection. So whenever, whichever we select the collection that will be assigned to this variable. Now we need to add more fields here. Uh, so we can override the images and uh, title as well. So the next field we need a uh, image. Type would be image picker and RD would be image and flavor is image. Next field for title type is text and RD is title and label is the last. In the last field we are going to have for the Overriding the links, so that would be type in URL and ID with link and the label would be link as well. So we have the schema now. We need to uh, get the image first. So we are going to write a condition over here. If if blog dot settings dot image not equal to blank, then we are going to get the uh, image of blocks uh, image from the block section. So I'll say blog dot settings dot image and the filter image url medium ls we will get the image of collection so in the ls condition we will get this collection image so i'll say collection dot image dot source so if we have a image in the customizer, that image will be displayed. If we don't give a image in the customizer, then it will grab the collection image, which we have uploaded in the collection. So similarly for the other fields, this is the title. So we need to add the same condition if blog dot settings dot title not is equal to blank. And then uh, we will have this blog dot settings blog dot settings dot title else we will grab the collection title so we'll say we'll copy that and we'll say collection dot title and here we need to grab the item found so we will say collection dot products underscore count that will return the total count of the product of each collection so let's let's go to the customizer and add some slides over there Okay, so we need to go to the add section and find the section shop by 
show by categories and just uh, drag it at the top under the slideshow and here we can change the title show by categories uh, here as you can see we can change the title from here of the section then we need to add a category now we need to select a category and say sunglasses save that and add another another category select that and sneakers save it now we need to add another one sandals and add another one select the collection sneakers sandals and uh, <coughs> Accessories one, two, three, four. Add one more accessories, sandals, sneakers, and summer bag. So we have five different collections. Save it and as you load the home page. So as you can see, and we have collection five collection here is a count and if you click on the arrow button you can <coughs> move them and you can see we have the images let's try to change the image of this sneaker so click and go on the sneakers and try to override the image so if i say <coughs> let me just uh, override it with the back so save that and reload the page and now you see we have a, a new image of the sneaker collection so this is how you can make a make a custom slideshow where you can display different collections thank you